Greetings, everybody, and welcome to my Red Ball. I hope you're absolutely ready for the big game today. The camp now will be hosting the team in white. We Maradistas are going to have a keen eye on proceedings, and as a few of you have mentioned in the pre-match analysis video yesterday, this is the time to attempt to go big in the Clasico. Carlo Angelotti as well would be attempting to fix his horrible camp now record. He has never won at the stadium. In the past few years, he has just managed three losses and two draws at the camp now, but hey, there's always a first time for everything and definitely Angelotti would like to taste his first victory in the home turf of the Catalan outfit. So in this video, we'll do the match preview of Barcelona versus Real Madrid. We've already spoken about the opposition and the tactics of Ronald Koeman yesterday and today, we're going to go through the pre-match thoughts of Carlo Angelotti and we'll complete this video by doing the match predictions. So come on, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. And firstly, talking about the referee for the game, the Spanish Football Federation have appointed Mr. Jose Maria Sanchez Martinez as the man in charge for the clash. He's officiated in four Clásicos in the past with Real Madrid winning one of them and Barcelona winning three. So that is something that the Barcelona fans can find some solace in. But having a look at the league position of both the teams, Real Madrid are third in the table with 17 points. Real Sociedad are currently at the top with 20. However, they have played an extra game. And if we look at the league position of our arch rivals FC Barcelona, you can see they are not a long way off. And yes, they have had some nice to forget early on in the season but most of them came in the UCL and in the league they kept on collecting a few points here and there and the slip-up that Real Madrid had before the international break played a major role in reducing the gulf between the two sides. So as things stand Barcelona at this point just need one win to overtake the Los Blancos and we cannot at all afford to have a casual attitude and we must be tuned in right from the early minutes of the game. On a different front though we do have a chance to get a victory today and go top of the table leaving Real Sociedad and Osasuna behind who are surprisingly are sitting in the second position. We also can see in the points range of 15 to 20, we have nine teams in the mix of things and no one up till now has managed to break away and firmly position themselves at the top of the table. But moving on, if we talk about the pre-match thoughts of Carlo Angelotti, the Italian did give some information on Valverde, the playing style of Real Madrid, and he also spoke about the potential today's youngsters have of becoming the prominent names of the Clásicos of the future. But firstly, while previewing the match, he said, we know it's a special game for us, for Barcelona and for Spanish football, and we are preparing for it with that in mind. We'll try our best to focus on what might happen, devise a good strategy and give the players all the instructions they need to put on a good display. Angelotti was then asked if Real Madrid were favourites in the match and the coach here was respectful with his comments. He said no, it doesn't matter if a team comes into the El Clasico in better form. Barcelona have performed well in the last two games. There are no favourites in these kind of games. A whole range of things determine how the game goes on, like motivation and collective commitment, which are very vital. Talking about favourites is pointless for these kind of games. And then the coach was asked about the two players who have been a source of joy and excitement for their respective fan base. The Madrid coach was asked if Vinicius and Ansu Fati will be the protagonist of the Clásicos of the future. He replied, they are both still very young, they have to show what they are capable of in their careers. This always comes down to the fact it's a clash between two teams who are always amongst the best in the world. The players change, Cristiano and Messi have gone and others have come in. What never changes and that these two teams will always be fighting in every competition. Moving on, Angelotti was then asked about what kind of identity he wants his Madrid team to have in the context of playing style and the coach gave an interesting response. He said, I want to have a team who can do all sorts of things on the pitch. Having a clear identity means the opposition can find solutions more easily. The principles of the games don't change. We like to have the ball, play good football and if we get the chance, utilize the counter attacks as well because that's the easiest way to score goals. That's the identity. I'd like to see in my team. Then the coach was asked if he could see Fede Valverde playing as a forward in a 4-3-3 and I was particularly very pleased with the response that Angelotti gave. He said, if it's a 4-3-3, Valverde has to play in the midfield. Perhaps on occasions he can play on the wings. It depends what I want the wingers to do. If I ask Valverde to do what Rodrigo does, I'd be making a mistake and if I ask Rodrigo to do what Valverde does, it would be the same thing. Any of the guys can switch positions but what doesn't change is their attributes. And it's good to see that Angelotti is more inclined towards starting Valverde in the midfield, possibly we may see Modric dropping out of the starting 11 and for me, Valverde has to start the game. The energy that he brings to the side is vital for these big games and Fede Valverde we know, he loves playing Barcelona, he has the big game mentality, he scored in the camp now during the previous visit and let's hope he'll give us even more happiness this time round. And lastly, Angelotti gave an update on the fitness level of Carvajal and Eden Hazard. Both have been included in the squad but from the comments of Don Carlo, it doesn't look like 
any of them would be getting a start today. He said Hazard is fine, he has trained with the team, everything's okay, just like Carvajal. Then we know it's difficult to throw a player coming back from injury straight into the action. The key thing is to have him available and he could be useful at any point. So that wraps up the press conference of Carlo Ancelotti and let's complete this video by doing the match predictions. In goal, Thibaut Kotwa should occupy the goalkeeping position. In the back line, we should see solid furlong Mendy once again starting for Madrid. In the centre back position, Alaba and Militao should continue, but there are some serious doubts regarding the right back position. It is a very important position today considering that Barcelona could be using that flank a lot. Jordi Alba and Sufati and Memphis Depay all love using the left sided territories, so you can expect many of the attacks of Barcelona coming from the left, and there is a good chance that Nacho may be brought in for the defensive solidity. However, I will be predicting that Vasquez will keep his place in the game. In the midfield, we do have two options. We can play the midfield of Cruz, Casemiro and Valverde, but there's also a slightly less probable chance of seeing the four-man midfield with Valverde playing on the extreme right, occasionally occupying the winger's territory. But for this game, I'll go with a three-man midfield and in attack, Vinicius, Benzema and Rodrigo will lead the charge for Madrid. So that, as you see, is the lineup that I am predicting, seeing the latest news and keeping the latest words of Carlo Angelotti in mind. And as for the scoreline prediction, I predict Real Madrid 3, FC Barcelona 1. Real Madrid should get the job done away from home and we must get all the three points today to re-establish ourselves at the top of the table. So that is all I have here, but before ending this video, there is a small notice that I want to give you all before leaving. In the coming week, I will be having my semester exam and I may have little less time to make videos. I'll try my best to cover the games, but I may be a little late in uploading the post-match analysis, so do bear with me. It's just that the exams have come and I have to pull up my academic socks to get some decent scores, so I'm hoping, fellow Madridistas, that you'll understand my situation. But coming back to the big match today, do let me know how you're feeling heading into the game and what scoreline are you predicting right in the comments below. I'll see you soon. Till then, take care. Glory to Madrid. And as always... Hola Madrid!